We are smack dab in the middle of moving in to our new house, as you can tell by the new background. And I got so many questions from you guys about the process and just general questions about the move and this new home. So today I wanted to answer those for you in my first installment of my house series. This is Whiskey and Wit, and if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome. My name is Whitney, and on this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. I'm also going to be sharing some more home improvement things and wood builds now that we are in this new home. So if you wanna come along for that, hit subscribe down below so we can be craft buddies. So one of the biggest things I worked on for the new house while we were waiting to move in was how was I gonna furnish this house on a budget? I did a lot of Facebook marketplace, garage sales, and liquidation sites. So here are some of my favorite finds and upcoming projects for the new house. It is a hearth and hand chair my magnolia, so it is still available at Target, but I got it on liquidation just because the box was damaged. It's a $300 chair that I got for like 170, so almost half off. And the only issue with it, if you can see, but it's not even that bad because nobody's checking out the back of that anyways. I also got this bench from the liquidation place. It's another hearth and hand one. It also gives me the opportunity to decorate seasonally, which I really like. Another place that I love to check furniture is a garage sale. I got this piece for $15. It is a Pottery Barn table that was originally $329. I just have it decorated right now for fall, right when you come in our front door. I was able to get this table as well as six of these chairs on a garage sale the same day I got that other table for 30 bucks. So six chairs for 30 bucks honestly would be a steal, but then we also got the table. I wanna paint the chairs black, and then I also want to reupholster these captain's chairs and build a larger table. So then that way we will be able to fit eight people in here. It's nice to have a dining space that's not filled with craft stuff, but this will definitely be a video coming up. The refinishing of the table, as well as reupholstery of the chairs. So as you can tell behind me, the house is a work in progress. We have been here less than two weeks, but I have been able to get up some fall stuff around the house, especially for filming videos. So I'll give you a quick sneak peek. I've got some more counter space in my kitchen, so I was able to make some various vignettes. And I do have a mantle, it's smaller than the old house, but I put up this leaf garland from my previous video. I've got a ton of little sections that I was able to add some orange and color to feel like fall without having to put a ton of work into it. And also it helped me from carrying my huge container of fall decor down to the basement. We've got space above the cabinets. I love that I can now hang a wreath on my front door and shut it because there's space between the door and the storm door. And because you're watching this video, you're getting a sneak peek at some of the stuff coming up in a Kirkland's dupe video. Finn is also really loving the new house with a ton of space to run and play. And I'm so excited to make memories with him in this house. So one of the first things I wanted to do in the house was replace a lot of the like curtains and things just cause they weren't our style. So in this room, because it's so light and airy in our sunroom, the red ones didn't go all the way to the floor and they also blocked a lot of light. So I took them down and replaced them with these panels from Macy's. It was really easy and the great news is all of the bars were already matte black so that already matches the style. It was a quick and easy switch out and now there's so much more light in the space. We also have a nice big window in the front of our house. And so for this, I found some nice sun blocking curtains in case we need them. These were from Costco, two in a pack for under 30 bucks, which was a great deal. And then I spray painted all of the hardware and the bars. It saved me some money and allowed me to get the look that I wanted without having to buy all new fixtures right away. In the old kitchen, it was very small and you really couldn't have two people. And this one, there's ample space for cooking and entertaining, which I'm really excited about. Our new pots and pans just arrived from Caraway. Both Alex and I thought these would be awesome. So a huge thank you to Caraway for sending these to us as a housewarming gift. Let's crack open this box. So these Caraway pots and pans are ceramic. And what I love is that they are non-stick, but they're also non-toxic because they're ceramic. So we're gonna be able to cook, but also feel good about that. These pots and pans are an investment in our health and also in our kitchen so we can make great meals and memories for years to come. They also come with their own storage system. So typically our pots and pan sets look like our Tupperware drawer where it's just kind of a free for all. And so I am excited to be able to put these where they go, keep everything safe and keep everything all organized. 
My go-to breakfast in the morning is fried eggs, so I had to put these pans to the test. It's so frustrating when you can't cleanly flip them. The yolk goes everywhere. This passed my test. And if you're in the market for some new pots and pans, you can use the link down in the description to get your own Caraway cookware set. You can take 10% off via that link. Now, as much as I would love for this video to be full of befores and afters and show you the painting process, I unfortunately got sick with the virus right after we closed on the house. I woke up the next morning and I just felt a little off, needing to stay away because my husband had just gotten home. He was out of the country for a week on a fishing trip and so we stayed separate for almost two weeks then so he didn't get sick. So Finn and I got it, Alex did not. Now, while the house is not ready for a tour yet, I'm hoping to be able to share that with you guys around Christmas time to share all of the Christmas decorations. But right now we just have boxes and stuff everywhere. If you look right off camera over here, I've got a pile of a bunch of craft stuff. One of the huge selling points of this house is that it had an additional space, which I'm in right now, which is my craft room. I'm hoping later this year I can do a video on this room, kind of showcase how everything is going to be organized and give you guys tips and tricks because right now it is so not organized. So the overall moving process probably feels like it took forever because I know for us it did. We started getting ready to sell our house back in February of 2022. We ended up getting it ready, getting the pictures, everything taken and getting listed right at the end of March. So we ended up having about 16 to 18 showings that first weekend. We got an offer the first day and by Sunday we had decided to go with that offer. Now before we did that, we actually took some of the items out of our house just so then that way it was more airy and open for staging. We had gotten to the point where we were just outgrowing that space and so it helped with the photos and also to have those potential buyers view the house by getting the items out. We rented a unit from a company called Go Mini and it's similar to the pods. I personally just wanted to steer clear of the pods because we had some friends with personal experience. There were just a lot of things that I didn't want to just overlook and so we found a local one out of a town near us. They were absolutely great. They they were so helpful, all of our stuff was kept super safe and they ended up taking it away and storing it both through the process of listing the house as well as the other items that we packed up when we actually moved out of the house. A couple items that we loved for moving that we would really recommend are these blue bags. They were really nice to put clothing, shoes, purses in, zip it up, and it was either easy to store it or also carry it from our house to my parents where we stayed for the summer and then bring it back here to unpack. They're similar to Ikea bags, but they do have a double zipper. They have handles on the top and then they also have handles on the back so you can wear them like a backpack. They would be great for college moving as well. We ended up going strictly with Home Depot boxes instead of trying to do a hodgepodge of free ones. We wanted to make sure that everything kind of fit like a tight Tetris game. And so we ended up doing medium and large Home Depot boxes. And while there was a cost up front, it helped everything fit. And it also made it so things weren't shifting, sliding around or risk of falling. Because of the way the market was, we had to get an offer on our house and basically be pending closing before we could really move forward on a new house because we needed the equity out of the old house for the new house. That is pretty much what happens with a lot of people. We only actually ended up looking at two houses and we ended up getting the house that we wanted, which we're really thankful for because like I mentioned, it was that crazy time, but we ended up seeing that this was a coming soon property on the MLS. It was in the subdivision that we wanted in the exact same town that we lived in before. We wanted to keep Finn in the same school district. It's good proximity to all of our family members, both sets of parents. And so when we saw this house, we knew we really wanted to put an offer in on it and so we had to wait a couple weeks for it to officially go on the market and by the time we were putting in an offer they were looking for somebody that could wait to close until mid-July. Now mind you this was early April so that was a huge gap. We ended up putting August 1st on our initial offer just because we wanted to show that we were flexible and it ended up being okay but they got an extra two weeks because they fully took us up on that offer. If you've got questions or would like to see more stuff about the house leave me a comment down below. I would love to see what you guys are interested in seeing. A huge thank you to everybody that left such kind comments for us through the whole process. While it was very stressful and a very 
very drawn out process. I am very happy that we are here. We'll be able to spend the holidays here and I'm super excited to share the projects I shared with you guys today. Also a huge thank you to Caraway with those awesome pots and pans. I've got a link down in the description you can check out for more information. That's gonna do it for me today. Be sure to hit subscribe down below so you don't miss those future videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!